Hello there you guys, come out and welcome back to the channel. I'm Adam 86 and we're going to be talking about Chiraz's big win on final day against Mazatlan at home. Uh, we obviously got the 4-1 victory, I'm pretty sure everyone knows that by now. Um, and yeah, it was a really good last game of the season. Uh, it secured the third spot for us, we'll go into that in a minute. But uh, the game itself was pretty decent. Um, obviously, you know, we won the game quite comfortably. I mean, El Capitan... Uh, Guzman, Pietro Guzman got his first goal of the game um, in the 12th minute or so, which is good. It was a really good goal, a uh, really good header, which is pretty decent. You obviously want your captain to step up, and he stepped up this season, and he stepped up again, um, leading the charge. And then Vega goes and scores again, um, pretty much like 20 minutes later, for, I think about 18 minutes later. Um, and yeah, 2-0, brilliant. And then obviously they got a goal back um, towards well, near the middle of the first half, um, which is not ideal, but obviously being 2-1, we were cruising. I think that goal was just uh, against the run of play. We were pretty much in control of the whole game. 2-1 um, at the half time, and then the second half, um, Nene Beltran gets his goal, which is awesome. It's always really heartwarming when whenever Beltran scores a goal, um, which is awesome. And then... Who else but the legend, Brizuela, uh, goes and scores um, for the fourth and final goal, which is awesome. Did his Bofo um, celebration, which is awesome. And, um, yeah, I mean, just coming back off his 250th appearance for uh, Chivas, um, I think that was a really cool way. Um, there's, he's come out with a couple of weird um, social media posts about... You know, it sparked rumours that he might be leaving, he might be retiring. It would be such a shame if he does. I think um, he's still a squad player for us. He's not really a first-team player anymore, but he comes off the bench and, like this game, he comes off the bench and makes an impact. Um, so it would be sad to see him go, but it hasn't been confirmed yet, so I'm going to wait. And if he does get confirmed, then I'll obviously do a video on him because he's been one of my favourite players at GMS and he's an absolute legend, so... But yeah, going back to the Ligia, obviously we, we've scored third spot now, so we don't have to worry about Repachache, which is awesome because, you know, Repachache hasn't really treated us very well recently. Um, so yeah, we're going straight into the quarterfinals. The Repachache fixtures, I can tell you right now. Um, Pachuca versus Santos, it's going to be a decent game. Um, I can't really tell. I think Pachuca might nail that. Uh, Leon versus San Luis, I mean, you'd have to bet Leon on that, uh, especially the fact that they've just beaten Tigres um, in the CONCACAF Champions League, so they're going to the final where they face LAFC. I might do a video on that, I'm not sure yet. Um, and then Tigres versus Puebla, I mean, Tigres are absolutely in the mud right now. Puebla could actually nick a result. Um, they're very difficult to play against Puebla, as we found out, so... Um, yeah, Puebla might get a result. That'd be really awesome if they do. I don't really like Tigres too much, so it'd be cool if they don't make it to the quarters. And uh, then Cruz Azul versus Atlas. Um, you'd have to bet Cruz Azul would win that game. Uh, Atlas, I'm not quite sure how they yeah, got into the Rep Chache, in my opinion. Um, last I bothered to focus on that, unless they were doing terribly, so they must have had a really good end of the season. Um, even though well, they got they nicked a draw from us, didn't they? Um, that might be why, but yeah, you'd have to say probably Cruz Azul and then Puebla and then Leon and then probably Pachuca. Um, and we could face any one of those. And to be honest with you, um, I don't mind Chivas playing any of those teams. Um, you know, we've beaten most of them already. Um, even Tigres, even if Tigres beat Puebla, I think I'm quite comfortable playing Tigres. I think Tigres are pretty diabolical at the moment so um yeah at the moment it's all good for the us to be honest we're going to wait for the fixtures to be announced and which team plays which team and etc because the rep has still got to happen so yeah once we've done that once we find out what our opponent's going to be i'll probably do a preview video on that because um why not and uh yeah at the moment it's really good for us right now third spot really good season I think the American result, as I've said, was the only blip on an otherwise pretty awesome season. We we equaled our points tally of a, of a season, 34 points, which is cool. Um, yeah, and then we just get straight onto it. And then, obviously, we got Monterey, Club America um, as well, possibly to face later on in the gear. So, this could be a very interesting league year. It could be a very entertaining league year. And it could, you know, I mean, have a little hope. And, you know, why not? 
Why can't she? Let's go on and win it. Um, at the moment, you know, I'm, I'm enjoying the possibility of it more than being too hopeful that we can actually do it. Um, but like I said, we've had a really good season. If we continue the form into the year, then we could beat anybody. Um, so we'll just have to take it game by game and see what happens. So, yeah, I will be doing videos. I'll be definitely doing reviews of all the Ligia games that we play. Um, I'll try as best as my ability to try and do a preview as well. Because, um, yeah, like I said, I want to enjoy this Ligia experience. I think it's going to be special. So, um, And if we do win it, I'll have a little announcement to make. So we'll have to wait for that as well. So... Um, yeah, that's pretty much it guys, decent win, decent season, um, you know, record points, third spot, um, and yeah, quarterfinals, we don't have to worry about with Pachache, we can kind of sit out and look in the sidelines, see who beats who and who we will end up facing, so, yeah, let me know in the comments who you think we'll be facing, um, out of these, these teams I just listed, um, who do you think we'll, we'll face and who do you think could be us, um, and, you know, how far do you think we could go this season? Let's have a conversation about that in the comments. So, yeah, take it easy, guys. And I will be back very soon for the first round of the year, um, review. Uh, sorry, preview, because obviously we'll know the opponent by then. And, yeah, I'll do a video on that. So, take it easy, guys. Enjoy the moment. I am trying to and uh, make the most of it. Cause it's what being a football fan is all about. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys very soon. Adios.